So Tupac's stepfather, Matulu Shakur, is home after being released on parole. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So Tupac's stepfather, Dr. Matulo Shakur, has been released from prison a little over one month after being granted parole due to a terminal cancer diagnosis. According to Dr. Shakur's website, the former Black Liberation Army leader walked out of the Bedford Hills Correctional Facility outside of New York City on Friday morning, December 18th. He is now at home with his family in Southern California. A statement on the site, which has been dedicated to supporting his fight for freedom, shared the Shakur family's request for privacy as a 72-year-old prepares to spend the holidays with his loved ones while tending to his health. The decision to grant parole is based on federal law guidelines for old law prisoners, finding that Dr. Shakur poses no threats to the community, taking into consideration his exemplary conduct in prison, his medical condition, and how much time he has served. Matulu is now with his family. This victory was secured by the steadfast support of his legal team, his family, and his community comprised of all of you. Matulu Shakur's release comes five months after he was diagnosed with a rare and incurable form of blood cancer. At the time, doctors estimated he had about six months to live. His legal team immediately filed his 11th request for parole. His health situation is extremely dire right now. Shakur's attorney, Brad Thompson, told NBC News at the time, he's very much on an end-of-life trajectory. We're looking at a matter of months at the most, but realistically, it could be a matter of days or weeks. At this point, the issue is getting him released so he can say goodbye to his loved ones, his family, his children, and grandchildren, to be surrounded by loved ones so he can die in dignity, peace, and comfort outside of prison. On November 10th, the Matula Shakur was given permission to spend his final days outside of prison by the U.S. Parole Commission after 36 years behind bars. His prison release had been denied 10 times until an October hearing where the Federal Parole Commission admitted he held an impeccable institutional record and was no longer a risk to society. We now find your medical condition renders you so infirm of mind and body that you are no longer physically capable of committing any federal, state, or local crime, the Parole Commission said. The panel previously denied his release in September despite medical reports supporting his decline in physical function, confusion, and hallucinations. Shakur was convicted of racketeering conspiracy charges in 1981 for his involvement in the robbery of a Brinks armored truck where a guard and two police officers were killed. He took responsibility for his actions and expressed remorse before later being convicted for helping his sister, Tupac's activist godmother, Asada Shakur, escape from prison. Matula Shakur was incarcerated under old law, a set of federal sentencing guidelines in place for crimes before 1987, meaning his parole decisions had been under the oversight of a U.S. parole commission that was intended to be phased out decades ago. A judge who rejected his request for compassionate release in 2020, told Shakur he could reapply at the point of approaching death. That same judge, now 90 years old, was the one who sentenced him over 30 years ago. But let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.